Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today it's another naval architect scenario sent in by Grimm and you might already recognize the Tropico element in it. These are always fun scenarios as Grimm has a very nice backstory for it and this one is no different. Hola Admiral, I'm glad to see you still have a job. El Presidente was wonderfully pleased to read the detailed report of the war games. He is in an unusually good mood despite having to think on what he will do with the El Presidente and the Tropico class heavy cruisers that were built for the war games. With this mood, he has been able to decide on how to figure this out. He has proposed a second war game. This time it will kill two birds with one stone. This war game will answer a question El Presidente has had as well as solve our tie in the last war game. It seems our dear Presidente has asked to see how to make our light cruiser fleet better. The question he gave to the eggheads to test are simple. Is more turrets more better? Or is more bigger more better? Yes, uh, we know that this doesn't sound like real grammar, but El Presidente's new grammar textbook says otherwise, and who am I to argue with El Presidente? Each team is getting two light cruisers and four destroyers. These are all purchased secondhand, for El Presidente's only love greater than that of his loyal Tropicans is his bank account. With these ships, you will modify them to meet the requirements of your chosen team. Sadly, we will not be able to change the superstructure, as El Presidente has given us only a short window to perform these war games. We will only have time and workers to remove any unwanted guns and funnels. You cannot spend more than 25 million total on each ship. If you find that you need to reduce costs, you may remove any flooding pumps, which is anti-flooding, reduce how much fuel is carried, the types of shells and powder, and how much ammo is carried. If that is still not enough, we can allocate some extra workers to remove extra engines or shafts. So, uh, summary, we're not putting anything else on, we are just removing stuff. Oh, before I forget, Admiral, El Presidente said, for now, the results of this war game will not result in anyone losing their jobs. But he would like to remind you that should you want to keep your ship in service, you do need to win. Lastly, he wants you to lead Team 1, as he feels you're the only one who will follow the rules of this war game. Now, Team 1 is very simple. Is more turrets more better? All turrets must be only equipped with single barrel versions. You should have at least 12 main caliber weapons. You must equip at least 6 main caliber guns, one of which must be 6 inch or greater in size. After your 6 main caliber guns, you can add as many small main, smaller main guns to meet or exceed the required 12. If you choose to mount torpedoes, you may not add more than 4 total tubes. El Presidente says that if you can fit 14 plus main caliber guns and sink at least one other light cruiser, he will keep your battle cruiser no matter the outcome. Now, um, it's a uh, straight up 2 versus 2 light cruiser fight with 4 destroyers for escorts. It's uh, not quite done yet. In order to win, I need to go uh, for the full challenge or not. If I... Whoop, I need to get 14 plus guns. If you accept the 14 plus gun challenge, then to win you must sink at least one light cruiser and you will win whether or not you lose your fleet. Now, to find what nations, era and starting distance you will select random. So I'm going to have to go with a random generator. If the era is below 1925, please change the year to 1925. And if the starting distance is less than 17, please feel free to increase, uh, increase it up to that. For the basic design of the ship, you will also generate a modernized light cruiser. Okay. As the story states, you cannot move the towers around. You may add, remove or delete funnels. If you are overweight, or budget as or over budget as the story states you can start by removing range flooding protection auxiliary engines and shafts then if more is needed please feel free to uh, play around with how much ammo types of ammo types of powder then lastly if you still need to remove weight or money then you may downgrade or sell off the equipment because we have that budgetary restriction of 25 million then lastly if you <laughs> Uh, lastly, you may cut away armor if all else fails. Due to the random nature of this scenario, you are allowed to have the computer roll a second build should the first one you get is not good enough. Now, I'm not exactly sure what he means by um, getting nations, era, and starting distance randomized. I'm not even sure if it uh, matters that much. 
but if I hit this, it is going to give me at least some randomness. And it had to be, if the error is below 1925, please change the year to 1925. Okay, and keep in mind, I'm randomizing these for the reason that these are second-hand ships. And this is basically what these nations had in store. So we're going to go with the two light cruisers and the four destroyers. Starting range, 20,000 meters, era 1925. Let's, well, let's sort of auto-design a ship. The modern light cruiser, auto design. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, light cruiser with seven inch guns, but that is not in accordance with what I need for this challenge. Because what I need for this challenge, and I'm scrolling back up through the scenario. Um, all turrets must only equip single barrel versions. So, uh, by the way, this thing has a 52% for weight offset. It's, it's basically half a submarine with the, the stern sticking out of the water. Anyway, I'm going to strip off all the armor, sorry, armaments. And just go with what I can fix. There. Um, it's supposedly going to have these 12 main caliber weapons. So that's basically 12 turrets. I'm probably gonna have to go for side mounts. Uh, you must equip at least six main caliber weapons of six inch or greater. Right, let's put those things on first. I was really hoping that I could fix those on the sides of the ship, but they're too big. So we're already gonna run into trouble because I'm afraid that at this well, this hull might not quite fit all these turrets. Well, it just does. Okay, so that's one of the requirements. After your six main caliber guns, you can add as many smaller main guns to meet or exceed the required 12. Very good. We're going to go with uh, main guns. Let's say main caliber fives. Now, getting these to all fire is going to be... Uh, interesting, <laughs> let's just say the least. Let's see, this abomination now carries 14 guns. Yes. So, El Presidente says that if you can fit 14 plus main caliber guns and sink at least one other light cruiser, he will keep your battle cruiser no matter the outcome. As far as the ship is concerned, it lives up to the 14 uh, required guns, but I am terribly concerned about her survivability because she has minimum bulkheads, she's not terribly quick, uh, she only has Krupp 2 armor, which means that I don't get a lot of armor strength. You get plus 80 here, plus 100 there. Armor-wise, she has some. Quinston's range finders, okay. Sonar 1, okay. Uh, semi auto loaders is quite nice. Advanced hydraulic turrets, okay. Super heavy shells, interesting. And white powder, hmm. Still, uh, the question is, is more turrets more better? So in order to fix that, or to, to figure out whether that's true or not, we're just gonna keep adding weapons. Because this is a critical question that needs answering. Is more turrets more better? It just might be. Let's see, I'm not sure if they can turn. Let's give them a bit more breathing room. Like that. You are quite literally out of line. Can we throw down any more 4-inch guns somewhere? Not quite there. I'm still going to go into battle with a hefty front weight offset. And there is probably very little that I can do to fix that. If any. So I can shift this, but I'm not allowed to touch the towers because remodeling the whole ship is going to take too long. And we need to crank on with this challenge. Uh, single what? I was really hoping I could put single barrel triples or single barrel threes, but apparently not. Oh, they fit here. I'll take that. And there. And here. 
And now they're getting very much impeded by all the 6-inch. Okay, smaller. Aha. Crap. That thing's being blocked. This thing's probably being blocked as well. This is a light cruiser. But it carries a lot of firepower. 6 6-inch six guns. 10 5-inch guns. 4 4 inch guns, 6 3 inch guns, and 4 2 inch guns. We're getting pretty close to our displacement, but it's not too bad. So, I could add stuff in the sense of weapons. I could add torpedo launchers as well, but I really wouldn't know where to fit those, aside from underwater. Which in this case might work, but I don't have the displacement for it. My weight limit has been, well, almost reached. Now, can I also add more stuff to the ship itself, I wonder? Because if I can, that would mean that I could at least upgrade some stuff, but I think I can only reduce it. You may not move the towers around. You may add, remove, or delete funnels. Okay, so I can at least add funnels, but my engine efficiency is already as good as it is, or as good as it needs to be. Uh, even with one fun... Oh! Oh, look at that. That's 750 tons. That I suddenly have available. Um, you cannot move towers around. You may add, remove, or delete funnels if you are overweight or over budget. As the story states, you can add by remove. You can start by removing range, flooding protection, aux engines, etc. I don't need to cut off more weight. I need to put on more stuff. One, two, three. Oh no, I can have four total. I think four torpedo tubes total. Not four per side. Um, mm -mm -mm. If you choose to mount torpedoes, you may not add more than four total tubes. Okay, so that's a few too many. Let's strip them all off the ship. Firing arc is terrible as is. Considering this ship is very much forward or, or broadside oriented, I might as well add some broadside torpedoes. Some guns have fiel poor fields of fire. Yeah, the <laughs> they all do. <laughs> Look at that. All the turrets have poor fields of fire. Really? You don't want to sit? Listen here. You will sit there because it shifts the weight just slightly farther back. Okay. Uh, I'm not allowed to add armor. I think I'm not allowed to add equipment. These are second-hand cruisers. I just threw on a bunch of turrets. So, uh, yeah. I guess we're going to take this into the fight. We're going to rename it. This is not the Bremen. This is the Senorita class of light cruisers. Here we go. I think that the AI went for a far more reasonable design. But we'll see how it goes. Enemy to the north. That's where we're going. Formation. I think formation loose might actually work better this time around. Because normally I would have these things operate in uh, a pretty close proximity. But they got a pretty hefty turning circle for a light cruiser. And we're going to need a lot of broadside to make this thing work. Destroyers V1 through 4 for supports. Uh, this thing already is half a submarine, considering the bow. 5-inch guns, 2-inch guns, 2-inch guns, and torps. Maximum bulkheads. Interesting. Survivable DDs. 60 knots torpedoes at a range of 8.6. How many? Two reloads, I think. Yeah, standard torps. So I get one salvo in the tubes, and then I get another salvo on reload. That's per the new patch, or per the new hotfix. All right, find me some enemies. I need to know if the Senorita class will work. I am kind of doubting it. Is more turrets more better? Well, I have more turrets, that's for sure. Uh, I have all the turrets. They're all single barrel, but it is what El Presidente ordered. So we're going to see if El Presidente's plan is worthy for our ships or not. If it is not, I am not going to be the one to tell him. I'm a bit scared of El Presidente. 
Now these things are pretty quick. DDs, you need to head that way, gentlemen. Gotta keep a pretty close eye on what my DDs are doing. Because I would not be surprised, yeah, there we go, to find that some of them are not quite doing what I ordered. Like you got this one, full speed, 25 knots, 17 knots. Enough of that nonsense, off you go. Detach. I'm gonna have to micromanage all of these things. We have the enemy spotted at a range of 7.8. Set up a smoke screen, do not launch torpedoes unless otherwise directed, and open fire with... Well, whatever we have available. <laughs> Which is a lot of guns. What you got there? What you got there? Six inch guns? Seven inch guns. Eight seven inch guns. And ten two inch guns. Okay. I have far more guns. But I'm just not sure if the firing platform is going to work long enough to at least get most of my shells deposited on the enemy. Signorita and, uh, and Dresden, I guess we didn't have time to rename that thing. Let's go. Look at that turning circle, that's not good. Does this thing carry torpedo launchers that I have not seen? Yes. That's problematic. And a single tube there. Destroyers. With your 36 knot speed, I'm going to need you to close in and prepare to drop torps. Because with my coincidence rangefinder, I'm not sure whether I can hit these guys at a reasonable range. And sure enough, we're going to be throwing a lot of stuff at those light cruisers. Uh, whether it's going to be enough? Well, we'll just have to see. What's your DD designed like? Guns, 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 torps, torps. No. That's a light cruiser. That's a destroyer. Guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. Torps. Lots of four inch guns. Okay. Oh, dressed and detected torps. Where exactly? There, exactly. Okay, you're fine. Senorita's turning, so she's fine. And sent the V1 to engage. There's going to be a bit of a mess by the time that all the DDs arrive close enough to the target to engage. Because I'm not managing them as a unit, I'm managing them independently, individually. I'm hoping that that will work, considering that it's going to be quite a bit of microing. Everybody, take aim at that incoming destroyer. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh no! These things cannot turn! These five inch guns are too close. Meaning that they cannot fire. Oh no. That's such a waste. Dresden, you got more torps inbound right there. Ah, oh, so almost all of those guns don't work. Sure enough, these six inch guns in the stern work. And the ones in the bow work. And technically, I lived up to the requirement that says you need to have 14 main guns. But the problem is, they don't all work. This is the Generale Antonio Caccino. Caccino? I think Caccino sounds better. Maximum bulkheads. Doesn't seem to do too well, though, against all of this firepower that the Dresden is bringing to bear. She already launched her torps. <clears throat> You only have one launcher, so I shouldn't be too concerned about you. Are my DDs at risk? Yeah, a little bit. There's torps all over the place. <clears throat> There's another torpedo there. Dresden. I know he just turned, but... Come on. We're going to have to turn again, because at this rate we cannot get all that firepower from the stern to work. Turn to port. I'm not looking to ram this thing. Not with minimum bulkheads. That'd be signing the death warrant of my own ship. Torpedo. Multiple torpedoes. Come on. This should be very easy for the Senorita to win.
That thing is quickly being reduced to a burning, sinking wreck. Despite maximum bulkheads, this is not survivable for the destroyer. Got one. Unfortunately, I might have a problem with these torpedoes. So the Senorita is going to have to make a turn. The uh, La Massa class is also starting to take some damage. Dresden is flooding. That's problematic. How good's your counter flood? Anti flood 3, auxiliary 4. So, yes, they might flood quickly, but maybe they are equally capable of getting that water out. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Didn't see that torp coming in time. Come on, do your magic refloating thing. I know I'm broadside to the Anac uh, to the Ancona class or the Ancona light cruiser there. Come on, get rid of it. What's your chance to pen me? Fifty-three. Got him. Okay. Uh, DDs. New job. Hunt down the Pietro Mica. Senorita dodged the torps. She's fine. V2 took a torp, but seems to live. So V2 and V1 can engage the Ancona. There's still one destroyer missing in action, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, who did you launch against? Destroyer. That's ambitious. Which destroyer is that? Smoke up. Senorita does not really need the smoke screen yet. She's not being targeted. Ah, there it is. That's the one I'm missing. Some damage to the destroyer. Chance to pen the light cruiser. Pretty good. Pretty good with those 5 inch guns. Switch fire. Survivability? Not that good either. It's not just my ships, not just my light cruisers that have a problem. But look at that refloating capability. That is really well done. We're back up to 100% buoyancy. V4. Engage the light cruiser, the Pietro Mica. She's capable of doing 40 knots though. Hot damn, that thing is quick. Increased ammo, increased torps, cordite. Uh, this thing is a disaster waiting to happen. Barbette 1. Senorita, target that thing. Not sure why the Encona is rushing to get away from me. More inbound torps. How many do you guys carry? You get one reload. You just don't have a lot of shells, apparently. Reduced ammo shells, but that really shouldn't impact them at all. Considering the serious amounts of 4-inch shells that they carry. 2,100 shells. You'll be fine. Incoming torpedo. Singular. Targeted. DD. Swing. Chance to pen. 51. Good enough. Senorita is now coming under attack. So now it is time to maneuver. What are all these torps? It's not mine. Which is always a fair check, because it wouldn't be the first time that I actually started torpedoing my own ships. Alright, Generali. The Generali is trying to reload her torpedo tubes, it seems. How quick can you turn? Not very quick for a destroyer. Hydro 3. These torps are blisteringly quick. 60 knots. So, torpedo when ready. At 800 meters, it's not likely to be able to dodge that. Oh. Oh, there we go. No, not when it's turning, you... Well, we got him. That was not an opportune moment to torpedo that ship. That was quite, pers quite possibly one of the worst timings. 
Uh, the Senorita is still working on the Pietro. And the Dresden is still out here fighting the Generale. Which took a torp on the chin. 22 inch and seemingly shrugged it off. How many bulkheads do you guys have? All of them. Alright. Well, that would explain it. Oh, flooding. Torpedo launch. Expected target V3. The V2 is not as capable of getting rid of the water as the light cruisers. AUX 2, anti-flood 3, but I think the compartment just got too heavily damaged by that torpedo that they took. Uh, Pontiere will not be capable of launching torps. I can, but I want to save those for the Ancona. Which is taking some serious flooding, I might add. Come on. Oh, Jesus, what happened to you? Did you take a torp? Yeah, two, in fact. Yeah, the Generale was almost reloaded. I forgot about that. And I got exactly what I deserved for my mistake. Stay with them. They just launched again against the V4. It's annoying to manage two different encounters like this. The Ancona is still flooded. Doing 28 knots. My V1 is far faster now. There goes the Generale. Next up is the Pontieri. Let's take it out. Torpedoes in the water. Singular. No, triple. Or is it a quad? Quad launcher. Alright. Senorita sinks to heavy flooding. What? What happened to you, girl? You took a torp. From where? The Pontieri? All the way over there? That's 20 cl 18 clicks out. Your torpedoes don't even run that long. <laughs> okay. I was too much focused on expecting torpedoes to come from the light cruiser over there. The Pietro. That I even considered the threat of a destroyer much farther away. Oh well. I'm still ahead on ships. Pontieri is not looking too healthy. Neither is the Ancona, but she's heading away, so torpedoing her is difficult. Try to hit her again. If we can damage the rudder, we can make it easier to get those torps in. Oh, that's not very helpful. The V2 is flooded, so she's not capable of making the same kind of speed. Any torpedoes that I'm not seeing? No. Well, about that. Somebody just ate a torpedo, and I guess I know which one. Yeah, the V2. From the light cruiser. No, from the... Could you stop torpedoing half my fleet? Thank you. I should really pay closer attention to the reports, but I'm trying to divide my attention between doing commentary and checking the reports and doing the battle. And dodging torpedoes. And the dodging torpedoes part is not really working out as well as I would hope. How fast is the Ancona? 16 knots. Okay, this is going to be a drive-by kill. The problem is, I'm not sure if I can do that again against the other guy. Because he's not flooded yet. Or she, technically. Speed? 32 knots. Ancona? 16 knots. Come on. I just need to kill her before she's capable of flooding me. Oh, she's flooding again. Torpedo when ready. Sink it. Fast is good. There we go. She's toast. Eight torpedoes. That was 19,000 damage. She's gone. Alright, now we still need to figure out how we're going to deal with this destroyer. Wait, what? Who torped this? The DD. Which DD? My DD? 
from the V1. Yeah, wh what? Hold on. Where? <laughs> the V1 hits the Ancona. This is the Pietro. Who hit you? Because it's not the V4. She still has Torps. Here, these are all the hits on the Ancona. V1 hits Ancona. Pietro is flooding. Yes. I must be overlooking it because I don't see the torpedo that actually hit that light cruiser. Five inch gun, five, five, five. Yeah, that's the V1 that just completed its torpedo attack against the Ancona. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all the torps. And then supposedly, I hit this thing. Oh, not with a torp. Ah, I'm looking for torps that don't exist. It's just gun damage. It's just pen damage from the V4. That's what I'm looking for. And this is actually good news because it does allow the V4 to close in and do the damage that it needs to. The question, however, is um, how is our challenge coming along? Is more guns, in fact, better? I think for the Dresden it is. But the survivability of this ship class leaves something to be desired. So more turrets, more better? Uh, yes, ish. So long as the ship can survive long enough. And we need to kill this thing before it lays more eggs. I think it might not be capable of laying more eggs. Easter eggs or otherwise. Torpedo should kill the Pontiere. Cool cruisers don't look at explosions. There she goes. Last ship surviving. The Pietro Mica. Can we flood her again? Because she's racing up again. 35 knots. I'm going to try and close in directly against her. Unfortunately, she's the only one, the V4, that can do something against the Pietro at this point. Because the Dresden's 22 clicks out. And, uh, well, half the ship's underwater. More than half, in fact. So that means that it's going to come down to the V4. Unfortunately, at 1.8 kilometers, she's going to see those torps and immediately counteract them. But I think I'm going to have to launch because soon I won't have a launching platform. And I'm going to get torped myself. So here come the torps. It's one salvo. Where's your second launcher? There's the counter set. Pietro immediately avoided. Seriously, this is just one set. Where's the other one? Do you still have a second launcher or did it get blown off? No, oh, you still have a second launcher. <laughs> now we're just <laughs> trying to meet each other again. Oh, there we go. The Dresden, this thing has some powerful pumps. Right back up to 100% buoyancy. <laughs> Impressive. Now, by my count, I should still have a torpedo launcher ready. One quintuple, or quadruple, one, uh, one set of four. So that should be enough to get rid of the Pietro. If it is indeed ready, and I can get close enough. Torpedo in the water. Sever several, in fact. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Swing hard to port. Very hard. Harder. I didn't time that correctly. I'm going to eat one. Yeah, there it is. Should have given it more time. Torpedo away. Uh, Pietro it de immediately detects, and the V4 is gone. Now, 
Are you seriously taking enough evasive action or not? You are. So that means it's going to be another light cruiser versus light cruiser fight. But it's going to take me a while to get into range. So I'll cut that bit out. Now, after uh, at least an hour of serious chasing, it turns out that that light cruiser is just too cowardly. They're sailing around at, well, supposedly something around 38 knots, and I can't catch them. The Dresden, surviving light cruiser, can do 27 knots, and the DD can only do 23. Now, this thing is being a massive troll by constantly smoking up just outside of my visual range, somewhere around 14, 14.4 kilometers, and uh, just doing like a, well, a huge circle around me, but at such a speed that no matter which way I turn, I just cannot catch it. So it's a bit of an anticlimactic uh, ending, but I suppose that El Presidente is going to have a bit of a word with the commanding officer of that ship to inform him that such cowardice is not befitting of an officer and that he and maybe his family are going to have an extended stay with El Presidente, just maybe not in the palace. So, um, does that answer the question, is more turrets more better? I would say yes. More turrets is more better. You just have to make sure that more turrets can also turn more better, because as this design goes, that was not quite true. Still, I hope you guys had a laugh with this video. Uh, it's always amusing to get these curious scenarios. Uh, it doesn't always have to be historically accurate. In fact, I prefer it if it is not. Because that just makes it all the more fun, all the more, uh, well, all the more gameplay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon for the next one.